Okay, this uh, video you're about to see was recorded on actually the audio about that here. This stuff was recorded on August the 30th, 2020. Uh, that was actually the first day I arrived to Hauke on the Polish side. And then I went in the evening, I went for a bath. Uh, I wanted to see Czech side, I wanted to wash my clothing and stuff. I did so. Uh, and after I washed the clothing on this lake, beautiful lake as you're about to see, I met two friends, a father and son. I definitely know from 2005. On the blog I have written in 2002 because I think 2002 is actually accurate. I was suggested 2004, 2005, but I think it was earlier. Uh, wife of this gentleman was very beautiful. Drugged up as I was, um, I paid interest only to things that were on my interest. Uh, this thing dragged for 23 years. Imagine being brought for months at a time, some at times drugged up, you know, sometimes left to steal the wall, to staring at the wall, literally like in Poland it happened for like several days. I'm going to have videos and audio still coming about that stuff. They would just go and leave me inside of the hospital for like several days, basically staring me, let, leave me stare at the wall. Uh, such was the story in Lodz, in a part of industrial part of the Lodz, where actually there is a um, it was it's a hospital for disabled people, for the people with disabilities that cannot help uh, afford uh, health care, social care, and it's basically where they are brought and taken care of. Uh, well, they would hurry on the business meetings and stuff like this. This is this is the stuff Donald Trump cooked with me, literally like this. And you would find yourself in the hospital with a patient, out of no apparent reason, drugged up, end up staring at a wall. People would go off then afterwards, asking what's going on, why why three four days left like this. This is not gonna be like this. They did. Quite a few times, Mr. Donald Trump. But let's go back to Czech Republic. Everything you're about to hear now, with exception of my returning back to the car, which is parked behind the Orland fuel station on the Polish side, uh, right across the Czech border. Uh, everything you're about to hear right now happened on the Czech side. And everything, in other words, the meeting with a father and son. Um, pretty much everything I have written. You know what? Uh, father, I was inside of his apartment. He's got. He lives in an apartment and very high up too. So there's no need. He doesn't want to tell anything. And the son built himself a new home. No, I know these people personally. I have not met them ever since. Mm. They wouldn't come anywhere close. This already was a big help, big stuff. Uh, stuff we have spoken about was pretty much told to me everything during MK Ultra. Uh, and so I think it was actually 2002, I know, father and his beautiful wife, uh, which the two separated. He eventually ended up in uh, London in a search for extra dime for extra dollar for better paid job um, his health deteriorated definitely since he went to London and since I would see him again it means that sometimes in 2010 this man was completely his health I reminded him myself when I was taking a psychiatric drugs psychiatry did roar the streets of old Bokomin and new Bokomin, big time. Uh, Czechs, Czech government did. Uh, Andrei Babic did. Along with Andrei Duda, Moraviecki, 
they were preparing a revolution in Belarus. This is the stuff, this is since 2002, 2001, pretty much everything that happened uh, in either Czech Republic or Belarus, Russians were still blamed for. Although they had nothing to do with it, they were already out of the picture a long time. They got those during those first deals. Uh, it was like this, up to, I estimate, sometimes 98, 99, it was bad. Maybe even in 2000, still some stupid stuff in Poland and Czech Republic, but since 2001, and those guys were already off the pitch of big time. But the Polish government and the Czech government pushed forward paranoia, schizophrenia, a little bit in domestic people, whomever they targeted, they got them to either psychiatric stuff, they would sick people stuff in the food, it was all kinds of stuff. Uh, people suffered Alzheimer, Parkinson disease. Uh, this is the, among the people that I met. This was like a huge, many people died. Many people became crippled. Many people um, in this village where I would go and bath myself uh, a gentleman ended up with uh, actually a hole in the throat because of the cancer he got. Uh, he never again would go and swim inside and he grew up on this lake along his friends whom I knew, uh, some of which I have even met before I arrived to Hauke on August the 30th in the city prior to. I have identified other cities in the Polish side too, prior to my arrival on a Polish Czech border. Uh, I'm telling you, people were lucky to escape. Uh, on both sides of the border. And for everything was to be guilty Russians. Uh, it was bad from the beginning, I'm saying. 96, 97, 98. In 1990, for something saying wrong or being on the list, you were surveillance observed closely. But seriously, uh, after 2001, 2002, this was just on behalf of Donald Trump. This was just on behalf of American administration that is preparing basically for the war against the Russia. The climax was seen in Belarus in 2020 when where uh, Morawiecki, Duda, Andrzej Babic literally orchestrated revolution of bloodshed amongst the Belarus people. Um, what else can I tell you about this stuff? No, this gentleman is not a racist. He is not anything like this. He's just really, really, really you don't understand, afraid. The Polish, the Czech politic is, I think, more brutal than in Russia. I think that you can, quickly, something can happen to you. Uh, in either Czech Republic or Poland, much more than what you think. Uh, you think, maybe, this is Czech Republic or Poland, but it's not, things are not like this. This is a Czech Republic, this is a Poland, because of whom I wonder what exactly happened historically throughout the Russia. Who was more radical? Who was taking more radical approach toward things? He's, I came throughout my stay in a Czech Republic, in a Poland, actually, to actually to question, to wonder myself, what is it that triggered uh, such a density within the Soviet society? Uh, actually satellite states or was it Russia alone that this what was it that 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 provoked this kind of stuff no. it's a really actually interesting question uh, on which answer I do not know so you got right here on this audio actually in a part two you got three things to resolve number one is father and son Czech people 
on a check side and that on August the 30th, 2020, they came basically to greet me, to meet me, to remind me of the things. Um, I can give their details, I can describe, I can recognize, I can, I can prove the point if necessary. And then you have the gentleman, this is the oldest gentleman involved in one of the oldest, older residents definitely from old Bohemia, always was there. Whose wife actually didn't like me. She disliked me and she actually, she died in 2017. I had an idea she died in 2010. Because I remember that he grieved the loss of his wife. No, his wife never liked me. I mean, from the beginning, she liked me, but she didn't like me. She didn't like me. Well, yeah, sometimes since 2010, sometimes since 2008, she didn't like me. Um, because of stuff I... 2010, 2012, definitely not because of my public use, uh, which I have expressed that was like a no-no to be around me already. That was dangerous for the people to be around me. My views were not in line with, um, with uh, any expectations. Um, Poland and Czech Republic wanted to, um, actually anybody, Russia, either, whoever, uh, would want to reflect on the world, I think, and um, nobody wanted to take responsibility for it. I was becoming more and more radical. They, were, they took a really, really radical steps against me. I don't know how much many are familiarized when I applied for 30,000 jobs, and uh, the only thing, the only kind of support I got was basically from my own bank savings, uh, from my own life savings, basically. No right to register myself for employment search for any kind of financial support, neither in the US nor in Europe. Uh, well, it was really, really bad for me since 2006, like completely unsustainable. So, really, in 2012, I started, once I started to complain, I uh, it was a lot of stuff that I have gone through, and my views really became radical. and more and more radical. Nothing illegal whatsoever, but troublesome for the people who wanted to help because they were very political. I just put it that way. She greatly distanced herself and as she still would come out to meet me, she was heavily objecting to that. I would definitely have impression he lost her already in 2010, and instead it was in 2017. But you can hear from his conversation that I think at one point he was saying that he does remember me, that he can recall me. That was on the Czech side. On the Polish side, again, the first day I come on August 30, 2020, I parked myself behind the Orlen gas station, fuel station. Um, that's parking lot. Why is it I did not remember everything? Employees, everything, everything. The owner, actually, the man who was in charge for this station. I can tell you personal details about him, although supposedly I never spoke to him. Building that was right behind me, right, right behind this parking lot. residence inside of the building. I see the car parked next to me. I, I already know who the man is who steps out of the car. I, know, I remember the cars. He was not the only person I recognized. I even recognized the people that would come, uh, that would commute themselves over the years for the biking and stuff like this to the Czech side of the border. They would go biking uh, and stuff like this. It's a beautiful area. And they would come as far as 15 kilometers away, far from. I meet people at that parking lot over time, 
recognizing them, they would be asking me, where do I know them from? People that actually, in Slovenia we say engagerani, uh, they, they dedicate their time to help me out, to idea to help me out. Basically, so many people did disregarding the politics. Uh, and omit, which many became guilty because of the stuff like that, because of the politic itself, because they allowed the politic to. The same route that one time was prohibited for the people uh, became now valuable, valid route for Andrei Babich. For the same thing, the people died because of Babic, because of Andrei Babic, Czech Prime Minister, uh, because of that same reason, it's about the same thing, about to repeat to the people that were not punished, basically, because this is the route he took, basically. And it's the same thing with Mariechki and with the Duda on a Polish side of the border, basically. Because of that stuff, now it's going to be the opposite. Because of that stuff, I have the right to accent the people who helped me out during MK Ultra, the people who came to meet me, because not the Polish state, not a Czech state would confess themselves about the crime they committed. Uh, they rather took other side and wanted to see how much do I remember collect at the people's expense, not only mine. Uh, because of that, I have the right to accent the nature of this case, why things happen the way they happen. There's no justification, there is no right for any that happened to the people. And I will continue to accent all of this, uh, especially because of what took place against me in the Czech Republic, where I came. Uh, in a search for employment. That a man who was practically indifferent from a homeless individual uh, also looked like one. Uh, talking about Andrei Babic, Czech Prime Minister, went as far as having my car whacked, literally destroyed, vandalized, ruined through the Czech police that got involved in crime against me. Uh, this is just crime. Crime is just crime. That's all it is. A uh, man is worth now five billion dollars. Uh, when I met him, it was as poor as a mouse, like I said, just like you would meet a homeless person in a park, basically. This is Andrei Babic. This is his, he was nothing else than a public official uh, at that point. And that's where his life took off. And he got a completely different idea about one, too. He had forgotten a lot of things, a lot of things of which some are even those of what was done to the people uh, that were willing to help me. Uh, this is basically what he blamed their misfortunes for, uh, for whatever was done to them. Uh, he had even forgotten that kind of reason. So let's keep that alive uh, and let's just keep this professional. Again, everything recorded on August the 30, 2020. The man who comes in a blue golf Volkswagen, uh, his wife comes in, his child. Eventually, they build him a new home uh, if facing Orden Station from behind, from the parking lot, therefore, behind the fuel station. Uh, that will be basically turning right in going down the road right uh, as I said in the, in the direction of the, in the right direction then you would turn across the street on the other side of the road that's where they actually build them a new uh, I think it's some kind of apartment building something like this complex it was actually done already sometimes probably I estimate maybe even in 2003 2002 not 2005 excuse me it's all the stuff I later on got confirmed by the local residents. So that's what you get on a tape number two. You can go, I did not cut not even one millimeter out of it. It's long about two hours. I think about one hour and 50 minutes, 52, 52 minutes or so. 
uh, and you can hear this for yourself. Uh, so somebody's not going to say that I modify the tapes or anything like this. I only have the tapes that go that range from August the 30 to September the 10. Basically, 10 days. That's all I got because the rest, the most important stuff, uh, it's what the Czech police. Uh, managed to steal from me in Ostrov. A pathetic, really, really criminal job of, well, Andrei Babic, Czech Prime Minister. A father, once I saw him in real time, the man you're about to hear, was not, he was completely unrecognizable from his earlier years. He would be like, I was when they had me on the psychiatric drugs. He would be just, you know, uh, like, you know, like he would lose his rhythm, basically. He would be just hyper, like, like not hyper, like, you know, excited to see someone, but it, just as I have demonstrated, okay, he it would just be. Uh, you know, it, it would be like completely, like, you know, he would be like something hurried, you know, with some kind of psychiatric drugs or something like this. His son told me, he complained that they did something to his father, that they got him inside of the apartment, that they got him, they, they did something to him. Now, what exactly have they done to him? I don't know. I only know that he's just one of the people that suffered I'm going to say even mild consequences when compared to others, what they have gone through. And it's pretty much a circle that was around me suffered tremendously. This is a Czech holiday. This is an authentic Czech Polish politic, basically. This is the politic of Morawiecki, Duda, Andrzej Babic.